Coach, what uh, stood out to you today that really pleased you? Probably those two uh, stops the defense had. We gave them the ball uh, twice inside the 10, and they got a total of three points, which was huge. Stepping up um, when offense was struggling and, and really not protecting the ball very well, that was a you know, couple of huge drives that we were able to come up and, and make stands. You stopped them 4 15 on third down. That was very impressive. Yeah, we, we've been playing better on third down, um, which is encouraging. We got to get off the field in this league and uh, continue to turn people over, but they, they've in a nice rhythm on third down, and hopefully we can keep that going. How about this Allen's performance today? I, I thought he knocked some rust off in the first half, and then um, I thought the last couple of drives he was really locked in, made some nice throws. Uh, it was good to get him hit so he feels comfortable again, um, and we'll have a full week next week to get him a bunch of reps, and hopefully we just keep continuing to progress. How much do you think it helped him that TJ was back? I mean, you saw it, right? I mean, you just get it close, and TJ's going to make a play for you. You had the one touchdown caught back. That was a tremendous catch, and then another huge catch uh, back in the end zone early. So he just brings that dimension. Uh, that's a quarterback's best friend, that type of wingspan, and the trust. If I put it up, you're either going to catch it or it's, you know, they're not. And um, so we need him. And that opened things up for Antoine, too, didn't it? It did. It did. You can't just uh, focus on Antoine, and, and you got two guys that are productive players. and. Um, you know they still haven't scratched the surface, in my opinion, of what they can be. So we got to keep keep them going. But um, it's huge to have all your weapons back. When did you know that Allen was going to be a go for today? <clears throat> um, it's been a while. It's been a while. We just uh, wanted to make sure practice went well. Didn't want any setbacks, but we felt confident that you know. I don't know, a few days after he got out of the hospital that he'd be ready for this date. We just wanted to make sure he held up and felt good and his breathing was fine. What are the dates that Gibbs done this year that really make your defense click? Yeah, I just think um, continuity on the staff is huge, right? Um, and then, you know, those guys have grown up in a system now. This is going into year four, so he's recruited to his system. Um, they understand it, same terminology. A lot of those guys are back from last year. And we still got a long way to go. Um, we play the good offenses. You know, we got to step up and continue to keep it close as the offense comes along. But uh, I'm really proud of what they've been doing. And um, it's good to see them have some success because they've been through a lot, a lot of those, those seniors. Coach, you guys uh, aren't where you were last year, turnover ratio-wise at this point. But you're winning games. Does that speak to team mentality, defense? What is that? Yeah, no doubt. Um, you know. We want to be better at that. We were first in the conference last year at turnover margin, and we're not there yet. Um, but they're, they're playing great on third down, and so that, that's helping us get off the field. And uh, we're getting a lot of wins there. What did you see on the offensive line? Uh, there, you know, today, I didn't think we ran the ball as well as we would have liked. But a lot of that has to do with Kansas. They were taking away the run, inviting the pass. And so we, we were able to hit some things in the passing game. But they're, they're not a bad team, you know, Kansas. They play hard. They do a good job coaching. Um, so I, I felt like we should have run the ball better, but I got to give them a lot of credit for stopping us. Coach Colin Hill had two sacks today. What do you think about his performance? He just keeps getting better and better. You know, he's a guy who's uh, been here three years now, works really hard, tough, tough player, um, handles his business, and it's good to see him continue to uh, have success and, and get better each week. You know, last week he had a huge tackle for loss, and this week, you know, two sacks. And um, so I'm really excited to see how he finishes up this season. On the other side, Eli had a couple of uh, couple of passes. That's his. Yeah, I know. He he gets a bunch of them in practice, and hopefully that that gets going. But he has a natural knack for getting his hand up and getting um, his hands on footballs. I know Bender wasn't exactly accurate. Defensive backs, Coleman and Jay Sean and everybody, they, they seem to really be very attacking. Today. Yeah, we challenged them. We played a lot of press man, got down on their face, and they have talent on the wideouts. The Sims kid seems like he's been there forever, has made a ton of plays, had a tremendous catch on that, that touchdown. And so um, I, I thought they, they were on them tight the entire game. Everything was earned, and that's what we're looking for. What's the difference is it like having a healthy play? I mean, you can see it, right? I mean, that's. Uh, exciting just for what he went through last year. He had a bunch of stuff going on and then to come back and, and kick the way he's kicked. And it's the way we knew he could. Um, just really, he's a great kid. He deserves to have that type of success. Right. 
It was better. It was better, and it's been better this season. Last year, 125th in the country, so it was an off-season emphasis, and um, our guys have bought into it, have bought into our Wednesday practice when we really work on it and taking pride in it, and, and so it's good to see that improvement from last year. That's what you're looking for. Up, up and down, yeah, up and down. Um, fielded the one early that he shouldn't have or should have fair caught him. We lose about 12 yards and then, um, you know, had, had a couple nice returns. Just got to be smart, be poised back there. But he, he's dynamic as a returner. He just has to make good decisions. Bryce spent a lot of time on the right sideline. What went that switch? And uh, have you seen improvement there? Who's that? Fry? Yeah. I, um, I've seen a lot of improvement from him. He keeps getting better every, every week, and um, you know, he can play any position. He can play nickel. He can play safety for us. Can play corner, and so we'll keep using him um, in the, whatever area we think he can help us. But uh, as a cover guy, he's really come a long way. If I was a coach, you'd like to focus on like the next seven days of the day and discuss the importance of you know you got a three game stretch coming up where even if you're, even though you're five and two you might well be underdogs in all three of the next games. Yeah, we were underdog in however many there um, in a row, right? Houston, Oklahoma State, TCU too. So that's just this league, um, and we just got to focus on Iowa State. They've had our number, and we got to play a lot better against them. You think these guys are getting more and more comfortable with the even if you are underdogs, just the confidence they've got and what they've accomplished. Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, each week is different. I think they understand that if we play well, um, we can keep stay in every game, and, and uh, so uh, we gotta gotta bring it next week. Like I said, that team has had our number, and um, we gotta build confidence during the week and go out and play our best game. I know you always want more, but are you pleased with how your team is progressing each week? I think so. I just think offensively, um, you know, we were reckless with the football, putting it on the ground a bunch today, and that's got to clean up during this, these last five. Um, that's going to be the difference in these games is turnover margin, and uh, we've got to find a way to come out on top on that. What's this offensive ceiling? It can be really good. You know, it can be really good. You look at those playmakers outside and, and uh, you know, the O-line all back from last year and, and some dynamic running backs, quarterback is making good decisions. We'll see where it goes, but we're going to be tested, you know, next week, one of the best defenses in the country. And um, I've said it three times already, but they've had our number. So we got we got to have a better better plan and execute at a higher level against Iowa State. Coach, you asked that, uh, that your offense needed to start fast. Uh, did you think that they did that today? The first drive, you know, we got points, but I thought the hold um, hurt us. And uh, we just, when we're playing downhill and avoid negative plays, we're pretty good. And if we get any of those pre-snap penalties like we had against TCU or the hold or, or fumbling, losing 20 yards, um, we haven't been great. So we got to continue to to be sharp and, and avoid negative plays. How was it to get Bowman with a game under his belt before you guys hit? Oh, that was huge. You could tell early he was a little bit um, funky going through reads and missing some stuff he, he normally doesn't. But it was good to get him hit. Um, he feels comfortable again that he can handle that. And uh, so next week we had to play with a lot of poise at that position. Did you uh, want him blocking uh, that early in the game, or did you uh, kind of have a little bit of <laughs> <laughs> That's not really his deal, but he, he – I mean, that wasn't much of a block either. So he, uh, he knows his limitations. Did you even uh, communicate with him much during the game regarding how he felt, or did you see, did you feel like he did beforehand? He's, he's yeah, I, I, he felt great um, the whole game. So it wasn't much of checking in. It was more just yelling at him um, on a couple of things. But he, health wise, he said he was great. <clears throat> what you think of the. Kick for Vegas kick. Did you see that girl shot out there? With I heard the crowd. Yeah. She drilled it. Drilled it. What does she get exactly? Good trip to Vegas. What? That's it. <laughs> I mean, that's it. That, oh, the whole thing. Oh, I thought just the, like the two hundred thirty dollars Southwest flight from <laughs> Love It. That's good. Yeah, that's awesome. I may have to check her out. Yeah, I think his ability to go up and make plays, he, he's another guy. 
we'll give him a chance and you know he's either catching it or it's going to be an incomplete because they're not picking it off. He's going to get his hands on it. So um, Allen's able to give him a chance on those deep things and, and that's been really good. Even last week he caught two out of bounds. There would have been huge plays, but he's, he's catching the ball. He's timing his jumps and he's attacking the ball when it's in the air.